In statistics, completeness is a property of a statistic in relation to a model for a set of observed data. In essence, it is a condition which ensures that the parameters of the probability distribution representing the model can all be estimated on the basis of the statistic. It ensures that the distributions corresponding to different values of the parameters are distinct. It is closely related to the idea of identifiability. But in statistical theory it is often found as a condition imposed on a sufficient statistic from which certain optimality results are derived. Definition. Consider a random variable x whose probability distribution belongs to a parametric family of probability distributions p theta, parametrized by theta. Formally, a statistic s is a measurable function of x. Thus, a statistic s is evaluated on a random variable x, taking the value s which is itself a random variable. A given realization of the random variable x is a data point on which the statistic s takes the value s. The statistic s is said to be complete for the distribution of x if for e every measurable function g the following implication holds. e equals 0 for all theta implies that p theta equals 0 equals 1 for all theta. The statistic S is said to be boundedly complete if the implication holds for all bounded functions G. Example 1. Bernoulli model The Bernoulli model admits a complete statistic. Let X be a random sample of size n such that each she has the same Bernoulli distribution with parameter p. Let e be the number of 1s observed in the sample. t is a statistic of X which has a binomial distribution with parameters. If the parameter space for p is, then t is a complete statistic. To see this, note that observe also that neither p nor 1 minus p can be 0. Hence if and only if, on denoting p by r, one gets, first, observe that the range of r is the positive rails. Also, e is a polynomial in r and, therefore, can only be identical to zero if all coefficients are zero, that is, g equals zero for all t. It is important to notice that the result that all coefficients must be zero was obtained because of the range of r. Had the parameter space been finite and with a number of elements smaller than n, it might be possible to solve the linear equations in G obtained by substituting the values of R and get solutions different from zero. For example, if n equals 1 and the parametric space is 0.5, a single observation, t is not complete. Observe that, with the definition, then, e equals 0 although g is not 0 for t equals 0 nor for t equals 1. Example 2. Sum of normals This example will show that, in a sample of size 2 from a normal distribution with known variance, the statistic x1 plus x2 is complete and sufficient. Suppose or independent, identically distributed random variables, normally distributed with expectation theta and variance 1. The sum is a complete statistic for theta. To show this, it is sufficient to demonstrate that there is no non-zero function, such that the expectation of remains zero regardless of the value of theta. That fact may be seen as follows. The probability distribution of x1 plus x2 is normal with expectation 2 theta and variance 2. Its probability density function and is therefore proportional to the expectation of g above would therefore be a constant times a bit of algebra. Reduces this to where k is nowhere zero and as a function of theta this is a two-sided Laplace transform of h and cannot be identically zero unless h is zero almost everywhere. The exponential is not zero, so this can only happen if g is zero almost everywhere. Relation to sufficient statistics. For some parametric families, a complete sufficient statistic does not exist. Also, a minimal sufficient statistic need not exist. Under mild conditions, a minimal sufficient statistic does always exist. In particular, these conditions always hold if the random variables are all discrete or are all continuous. Importance of completeness. The notion of completeness has many applications in statistics, particularly in the following two theorems of mathematical statistics. 
Layman Shefei theorem completeness occurs in the Layman Shefei theorem, which states that if a statistic that is unbiased, complete and sufficient for some parameter theta, then it is the best mean unbiased estimator for theta. In other words, this statistic has a smaller expected loss for any convex loss function. In many practical applications with the squared loss function, it has a smaller mean squared error among any estimators with the same expected value. See also minimum variance unbiased estimator. Basu's theorem bounded completeness occurs in Basu's theorem, which states that a statistic which is both boundedly complete and sufficient is independent of any ancillary statistic. Behada's theorem bounded completeness also occurs in Behada's theorem. If a statistic is sufficient and boundedly complete, then it is minimal sufficient.